Here is the black box. Let's open these up. Oh, oh, there we go. The pink. I'll be back for it, buddy. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Woo! <laughs> we got it. All right, Houston Marathon training update today. Uh, off to the post office to get these shoes on their way, some of the shoes. So thank you for your patience. If you won shoes at the last running shoe giveaway, which we do quite often on the, ch well, we're gonna try and do more often moving forward. But I must say, I have a new strategy. I definitely need help with wrapping the shoes up and getting them shipped out. There's just so many, like there's just so many shoes. So I had a little more time today and I'll explain why once I get back to the house. Uh, but I think what we'll do is I'm gonna ask for some help and some volunteers from all of you locals in Denver. I think the next running shoe giveaway, we will do a pizza party at my house and I'll invite you over. And as soon as the live stream is done, we, you know, if we had four, four people, maybe five people, we could wrap up those shoes in, you know, an hour at the most. It just takes a, Many hands makes light work, as the saying goes. So, all right, Houston Marathon updates coming soon. I'm also gonna open a box here in a minute that just arrived at the house, so I hope you're doing well. Oh, butter my bread. Oh man, just a day, just a day, man. Just, we're just, we're just living. We're just living in this world. Oh man, out with the old, in with the new. Here we go. Oh. Okay, thank you for sending shoes, everyone. We're gonna keep getting better. Hold on. We're gonna keep getting better at this. I, you know, it's all about time. It's all about systems and figuring out the best way to get shoes out to those who need them. So I, uh, you know, whew, we're gonna make it happen. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We're gonna make it happen. Mmm. customs forms for the international shipments. There it is. Uh, so if you're in outside the U.S., just a little more patience. I got to fill these out. All right, real quick, we got some boxes. Well, also a letter arrived from Mizuno. This is amazing. So uh, let's see. This is so it's signed in here by Team Mizuno, Matt, Erica, and yes, a uh, cat, I see cat in there as well, and then Pife. So Pife is my old teammate at the University of Colorado, 
and uh, it's just amazing to see Pife in there. And so they say, congrats on a huge 2019, 50,000 subs and some big marathons, just to name a few. It has been an honor to send new shoes to you and we look forward to sending more in 2020. That's amazing. Thank you, Mizuno. I will continue to run in them. If you keep sending them, I'll keep running in them. Sound good? Okay, here we go. Shoes for the next giveaway. We're looking at some Nikes, uh, the Peg 35s. Shuei, thank you, Shuei. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you for the book. You know how much I love reading books. There we go. So, next shoes. But these are Asics shoes. So there we go, next shoes. Oh, shout out to the New Hampton Huskies. All right, next box is from Jennifer in Texas. I go, boom. Oh, interesting. It's a Hoka box, but Scott shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've only held Scott shoes in my hands once in my life. I will put those in for the next running shoe giveaway possible here. Ooh, ow. Uh -huh. From Allen, thank you, Allen. See, some, it says some ladies fly knits. Okay, that is amazing. 4% fly knits, female size five for the next giveaway. Dublin, Ireland, that's amazing. Thank you, Alan, for sending these. One more box. Oh, oh, there we go. Next shoes are from Jean, the Peg 35s. Let's see, size eight and a half. All right, now we'll, let's open up this last box from, that arrived today from, uh, from Nike. So. You all know the next percent giveaway was what? About 10 days ago, approximately? Let's open these up. Oh, oh, there we go. The pink edition. Oh, so who won these? Andrej over in Europe. I will be shipping these off to you as soon as possible. Congrats on winning the next percent. Now, we all know what's on the inside, right? We all know what's on inside that midsole. There we go. So, I will get these shipped off to you as quick as possible, Andre, hopefully tomorrow. All right, all right, let's go out to the studio, get organized, and talk about the Houston Marathon. There we go, putting the last shoe on the rack. Rack is full again. Oh, it's so good to have a good full rack of shoes to give away. Uh, but some people were a little worried that they did not see their shoes that they gave in the giveaway last time. It's only because we have so many shoes. You can't even see it. Above me is probably 10 more boxes of shoes. So don't worry, we will get to them. It's just, uh, there's just a lot of shoes, which I am ever, ever grateful for. And I know the people receiving them are ever, ever grateful. So keep them coming. Okay, moving on to Houston. What can I say? What can I say is the truth and be transparent. I'll always be transparent and uh, I wish I had better news, but the knee does not feel very good at all. Yesterday's 12 mile run, the knee was basically at a seven or eight on the pain scale, the entire 12 miles and usually the knee warms up after a couple miles and it goes away. And then I tried running faster because uh, yesterday, because that usually helps it feel better, um, but it never really went away. And my push off power was a little hindered as well. So that tells me the knee is not happy and it's going in the wrong direction. And that's not good because the timeline for Houston is, and I'm just being very frank and like, yeah, just being frank with you guys, like it's, the timeline is not so good. If I was four days out from Houston, I could run, I, I would run Houston. Um, but four weeks, mm, that's rough. Now, not to run through pain for four weeks, that's really, really rough. And it's definitely like right between the kneecap and the, the tibia. So it's that classic runner's knee pain or jumper's knee, whatever you want to call it, the patella. And um, so... I'm grateful that it's not a bone injury, all right? And because I've had so many bone injuries throughout my running career, it's like, gosh, I'm just so happy it's not a stress fracture and it's a tendon. But at the same time, it is very, very painful. Um, 
I don't now. I've asked a lot out of the body in 2019. This is why. Remember, remember yesterday, the vlog that I, I, I clicked on, the vlog from 365 days ago, the title of that vlog was Avoid Overtraining and Burnout Last Run. Every year, if you've been watching the vlog for at least a year, you know that I take two weeks off every Christmas. Well, this year I, I didn't because of Houston and chasing down this dream of qualifying for the Olympic trials. But I have to be vigilant of the body and listen to the body. And at the end of the day, it's like you can't put yourself, well, you can put yourself through pain, but not for four weeks. So I took the day off. We'll see how the knee feels tomorrow. It's sad news. I don't want to, I don't want you to be bummed though. I'm not giving up on Houston. I'm not giving up. All right. But I just have to be, I just have to listen and go by feel. And right now it does not feel good at all. Okay. So there you go. That's the update. Oh, sorry. But the power of shoes. All right. So on a, ending on a positive note real quick, keep your head up. If you're struggling with an injury, if you're like, Ugh, I, I, I'm not going to give up. So ending on a positive, I always like to end on a positive note. The last running shoe giveaway, a gentleman in, in Germany, his name is Nick. He emailed me and said, hey, it's a little expensive to ship shoes all the way to Colorado for the giveaway. Do you have someone in Germany that I could give my shoes to? Well, sure enough, I put the word out and a gentleman emailed me. His name is uh, Siggy. And basically it turns out Nick and Siggy live in the same region of Germany. And so they were able to meet just a couple days ago and look at this picture that they took together and uh, Nick printed off this, uh, the logo, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. And so they were able, so Nick is giving the shoes to Siggy and Siggy is going to give the shoes to a running friend who just needs help getting shoes. So at the end of the day, we are coming together to help each other, to chase down our dreams, to um, hopefully make a positive impact in this world. All right. So that is the power of YouTube. That is the power of uh, runners uniting together to help each other. So thank you, Nick, for helping Siggy. And Siggy's going to help his friend. It's absolutely amazing. And keep your head up. Keep your head up. I'm keeping my head up. Mm. And I don't have a question of the day. I, was try I, don't I never want to force questions of the day if it just doesn't make sense. And I just couldn't really come up with one come up with one maybe because my mind is thinking about the knee but i'm here for you i appreciate you you being here for me ah what are you gonna do we're gonna keep going that's all we can do one foot in front of the other patience 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 <sighs> ah. all right we'll toss it back to the last running shoe giveaway live stream on the right and then we'll toss it back to well um, we'll toss it back. Maybe I'll try and find a vlog about running injuries on the left and trying to keep your motivation up through running injuries on the left. I should probably go watch it myself. All right, there you go. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. Come on now. See you tomorrow.